Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show how you can install this cool back buttons mod for your DualSense controller. With this mod you can add up to 4 extra shortcuts to your controller. And there is an additional easy mode installation which won't require any soldering. So let's do it! This is the Extreme Rate Rise Remap Kit for the DualSense. There is a 2 button and a 4 button version. Let's start with the 4 button version. I will begin with the full installation. To complete the full installation, you will need to do some soldering to 4 specific points. You can map the touchpad and the L3 and R3 buttons. And if you want to see the short installation, which won't require any soldering, skip to the timestamp here. In the box, you'll get all of the parts, tools and screws needed. Before installing this mod, you'll have to pay attention to which version of the DualSense you have. There are two models, BDM-010 and BDM-020. And here's how you'll differentiate between them. This model is a BDM-010. It lacks the letter A at the end of the model number. And this other one is a BDM-020. Pay close attention because the letter A is pretty small. Depending on the model you have, you'll need to cut the flat cables differently. You can position the flat cables on this chart to make sure which parts will need to be cut. Since I'm installing this in a BDM-010, all of the parts labeled BDM-020 will be cut. With the cables cut, let's move on and assemble the back shell. You can also separate the PCBs, wires and additional cables. Start by attaching the back PCB support in the back shell. And secure it in place with these black screws. Next, insert these metal rods into the larger back buttons. Sometimes the metal rod will be fit too tight, as you can see here it took out a little bit of the plastic. To fix this issue, you can get the included screwdriver, put it on the hole and turn it a little bit to remove some of the plastic. With the larger back buttons ready, you can attach them to the support. Check if everything is working. Then grab the cover of the PCB and install the LED window. And insert the secondary buttons too. Now let's disassemble the DualSense to install the mod. Start by removing this black part with the plastic pry tool. With this part out, you can unscrew these two hidden screws here. Use the pry tool again to remove the L1 and R1 buttons. And remove these two top screws.
with the pry tool again, open these two clips here. Now slowly work your way all the way to the top, inserting the pry tool on the sides of the controller. And now we're finally inside the DualSense. First thing you want to do is to remove the battery. And unscrew the battery holder. To be extra careful, it's recommended that you remove this microphone close to the headphone jack. And remove the flat cables connecting the motherboard to the triggers. Remove the touchpad flat cable too. And remove the second microphone. Then you can detach the motherboard by pressing on the analog sticks. And remove the two screws holding the middle part of the shell. Then disassemble the touchpad. We're gonna install a wire to the touchpad PCB. Remove the flat cable on the touchpad if possible. Not all models are removable. And add flux to this point here. Then solder a wire to that point. This is how it should look like. For extra precaution, let's add a tiny bit of electrical tape to insulate the board. Reattach the flat cable. Pass the wire through the shell and reassemble the touchpad. Bring the wire to the back of the shell through the hole of the flat cable. Next, we'll install the cable that will give access to the L3 and R3 buttons. Use some tape to hold it in place, then add flux to the point and solder it. and do the same to the other point. With that ready, fold the flight cable in this point. Grab this flat cable here with the golden contacts and put it on top of the original flat cable on the shell. This cable will intercept the inputs of any of the front buttons. and install the cables you've cut in the beginning of the mod. This cable looked a little bit confusing, so I checked it again and I found out that I forgot to cut this part here. Now you could install it properly.
reinstall back the microphones. And the battery holder. Don't forget to reattach the flight cable of the touchpad. Put back the screw and reinsert the battery. Next, unpeel the adhesive on this flat cable and attach it to the battery. Then open all of the tabs and attach all of the connections. And now we have to do the last point of soldering. We'll have to solder the wire to the flat cable. It's recommended to do this before you stick the flat cable to the battery. As if you spend too much time touching with the soldering iron, you could melt the plastic on the battery. Finally, let's add a tiny piece of tape to insulate here too. Then pass the remaining cable through the back shell. And before closing everything, verify if you are not crushing anything. It is also recommended that you insert the back buttons PCB before closing. Insert any excess of the cable back to the shell, and finally close it. Pay attention when inserting the back buttons PCB, insert it in the correct position. I didn't do it on my mod, but you can add two screws here to firmly secure the PCB. Now you can check if the buttons are working. And finally, insert the back buttons cover. Insert it like this, by attaching it upside down. Again, test all of the buttons. Then put back all of the external screws and finish the mod. And it's done! You have four extra buttons on your DualSense. I don't have a PS5 yet, so I'll be using my Switch here to demonstrate. By using this adapter, I can use the DualSense on the Switch. To record the back button, hold the tiny button in the middle. The LED will turn on. Then press the back button and the button you want to record at the same time. The LED will quickly blink. Then you can hold the middle button again to turn off the recording mode. And after that, the back button will be working. You can record multiple keys as long as the recording mode is on. If you want to erase a configuration, turn on the LED and repeat the same combo of that button. The LED will blink 3 times slowly, meaning that you erased it. And if you want to completely clear all of the buttons, you have to turn on the LED and press this combination. Up, left, triangle, circle, L1 and R1 at the same time. 
The LED will slowly blink and then turn off. And now all of the back buttons are empty. And finally, you can enjoy your favorite game with your DualSense and your new back buttons. Now let's see the simple installation. With this installation, you won't have to solder anything to the motherboard. However, you won't be able to program the back buttons to the L3 and R3 buttons in the touchpad. The kit with two buttons is entirely made of metal. Start by inserting the metal rods to the buttons. Then attach the back buttons to this plastic piece. Grab the metal cover and insert the LED window. Attach the back buttons to the back shell of the controller and screw the four holes shown here. You'll use the black but thicker screws. Then cut the flat cables accordingly to the model of your controller. But here I made a terrible mistake. While cutting the flat cables, I looked to the wrong part of the chart. I cut accordingly to the top part, and the correct part is the bottom one. When I realized it, it was too late. You shouldn't cut them wrong, but if it does happen, Extreme Rate will give you free new cables to continue with your mod. And so they sent me new cables, and with these, I took another step to prevent mistakes. And I strongly recommend you to do the same. After you identified your model, cut the chart to prevent looking to the wrong section. Then this time I cut the cables correctly. With the cables cut, start by disassembling the dual sense. You should remove these black pieces with the plastic prying tool. Remove the two screws in the bottom. Then pry out the L1 and R1 buttons. And remove the two top screws. Unclip these two clips here, close to the headphone jack. and patiently release the back of the controller by inserting the pry tool on the sides.
With the back out, remove the battery. And unscrew the battery holder. When removing it, be careful with the microphones. Next, remove the flat cables that connect the triggers to the motherboard. Detach the flat cable of the touch panel and the second microphone. Then open these clips here and release the motherboard by pressing on the analog sticks. With the board open, insert the golden contact pads on this section. Put back the motherboard and reattach the cables for the microphone and touch panel. Then fold the flat cable on the white section as shown here. And install the cables you've cut before. Before installing the cables for the L2 trigger, you should fold it like this. After installing the cables, check if the two black tabs are facing up. Reinstall the battery holder and put the microphones in place. And don't forget this screw here. Then attach your battery. And unpeel the sticker as shown here. And stick the flat cable to the battery. Open the plastic tabs and make all of the connections. You are basically done. All that's left to do is to pass the remaining flat cable through the back shell. Before closing the shell completely, reinsert the access back to the controller.
open the tab on the back button's PCB and connect the cable to it. I left too much of the cable out, so I had to open the controller and reinsert it again. Attach the bottom of the PCB and put it in place before closing the controller. Finally, you can test the buttons. Grab the black but thinner screws and use them to hold the back button's PCB in place. Insert the metal cover to finish the mod. Screw back the bottom and the top of the controller. Insert the shoulder buttons. And attach the black front piece. And you're finished, you have back buttons on your DualSense. I noticed that this button on the metal cover makes a little bit of noise when shaken. For that, the mod includes two foam strips that you can attach to the back of the button and stop the noise. And remember, with a simple installation, you won't be able to use the R3, L3 or the touchpad. To record the back button, hold the tiny button in the middle. The LED will turn on. Then press the back button and the button you want to record at the same time. The LED will quickly blink. Then you can hold the middle button again to turn off the recording mode. And after that, the back button will be working. If you want to erase a configuration, turn on the LED and repeat the same combo of that button. The LED will blink three times slowly, meaning that you erased it. And if you want to completely clear all of the buttons, you have to turn on the LED and press this combination. Up, left, triangle, circle, L1 and R1 at the same time. The LED will slowly blink and then turn off. And all, all of the back buttons are empty. This mod is not only great for shooters, but is also useful for games where you need a handy shortcut to quickly use your items. On Horizon Zero Dawn, I set the back buttons to the down key on the D-pad. And with that, I can quickly use my health potions in the heat of the battle.
And here are my final thoughts. The Extreme Rate Rise Kit is extremely flexible. With a simplified installation, you can easily add two or four back buttons to any DualSense controller. And not only that, but the mod is partially or completely reversible. I said partially because if you want, you can open the back lid of the mod and remove only the buttons. Or you can even keep all of the wires and soldered points, remove the PCB and reinstall the original shell, and your controller will still work fine while having all of the main components of the mod pre-installed inside. On the downside, I gotta say that the back buttons are somewhat easy to press. You can avoid accidental presses by resting your middle finger on the back lid. But as I've shown before, you can remove the buttons if you feel like they are getting in the way. I have another video showing the Extreme Rate Hope Remat Kit for the Xbox Series S and X. Click on the link if you want to watch it. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like or a comment, subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend that will also like this mod. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.